In this video, we are going to go through the basics of the multi-texture editor. To get to your multi-texture editor, you must select your fabric in your object browser. When you then go down towards your property editor, under basic parameters, in texture, there is an icon with a little paintbrush on it. This will get you to your multi-texture editor window. Once you select that button, your multi-texture editor window will come up. The first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is your canvas size. This is the canvas size without any textures applied. So this is your default canvas size. It's 1024 by 1024 pixels with 96 pixels per inch. If I'd like to see my canvas size in the different units, I can just select this drop down menu here and I can see it in whichever units I would like to. The next view option is your transparent background. Now, since I have not applied any textures to my fabric, when I select this button, my fabric will become transparent along with the fabric here in my texture editor. Anything you do in your texture editor, you will see in real time in your 3D window. If I'd like to see my texture view again, all I'd have to do is uncheck my transparent background. The last view option is your preview settings. This is going to allow you to view your full repeat in different ways. So here I can show my grid or hide it, and I can also play around with the occlude opacity. I can make this very visible or very opaque. I can also reset my arrangement by hitting this reset button here, and it will go back to 0.5. Below my texture editor preview, I then have my texture layer window and my texture editor window. To bring in textures in your, to your multi-texture editor, there are a few different ways. The first way is using your Quill library. You can just drag and drop some of your textures into your layer. Please note that when the first texture you add in will be the deciding factor for your canvas size. So as you see here, my canvas size has now changed to 3000 by 3000 with 300 pixels per inch to from the original default, which was 1024 by 1024, 96 pixels per inch. If I continue to add in textures, it will always stay with the first texture size that you brought in. So here I can go to add and bring in another texture. When I go to add, this will bring up my files. Any texture that I have access to within my computer, I can then access here. Here I'm going to bring in this flower plant. As you can see, the canvas size stays the same, even though this print is much larger. I can scale down using my wheel here or continue to keep it high, large. I can also select my texture here, right click, and I can delete or rename. I can rename the second. I can also select my layers and I can copy them to make second copies or I can either use this trash can to delete it or I can right click and delete it or I can just hit delete. I can also lock layers if I'd like making it so I cannot edit it or I can unlock them. Once I have edited my texture around as much as I'd like to, I then have a few options on how I can exit out. I can either hit apply, and this will apply any changes that I have made to my textures, to my fabric, and keep my multi-texture editor window open. So then I can toggle between my 2D window and my texture editor. 
I could hit apply and close. Apply and close will allow me to apply any changes that I've made to my textures onto my fabric and then close out the window. And finally, I can hit cancel. Cancel will disregard any changes that I've made and go back to the original texture that I first opened up. If you hit cancel, you will not get a pop-up box or any warning. I'm going to show you this right now. So once I hit cancel, I do not see, I did not see any warning or anything, and it reverted back to what I originally opened up. I can then just go back to my texture editor and bring in my print again. If I hit exit up top here, a pop-up will come up if I've not hit applied or applied and close. So here, if I hit exit, but I did not hit apply or apply and close, a pop-up will come up saying changes not applied. Do you want to apply to the texture? Here I can hit yes, no, or cancel. I'm gonna hit yes. That's all I wanted to show you for the basics of the multi-texture editor. Thank you for watching this video.